In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to go your own way. When you go your own way, it means you do something the way you want to do it. A lot of teachers will create lessons and they'll make handouts and they'll give them to their students, but sometimes I decide to go my own way. I think of a creative way to teach that's a little different than the normal way to do it. So when you go your own way, it means you do something in a way that is unique to how you do it. Maybe there's a traditional way of learning English where you take a night class, but you've decided to go your own way. You've decided to learn English by using YouTube videos and by using an app. So you've decided to go your own way. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase to make your own way. Now this looks very similar, but it's not. When you make your own way, it means that you have a job and you earn money and you can pay for the things in life by yourself. We often hope that as our children get older, they will eventually decide to make their own way in life. I would say to one of my sons as they get older, it's time for you to make your own way in life. It's time for you to get a job, pay your rent. It's time to stop living at home and eating my food. It's time for you to make your own way. So to review, when you go your own way, it means you do something in a way that you thought of. So you've decided you're going to go your own way and you're going to walk to work instead of driving like everyone else. And when you make your own way, it means that you have a job, you earn a living, you can pay for all the things you need to pay for in life yourself. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from, I believe, Vladimir. You reply to the comments of the same people. And my response, yes, sometimes. But I do try to pick at random as well. There are a few people who are regular commenters, so I do like to pick those a bit more often. Either way, I do try to reply, in writing of course, to all the comments. I just might not feature it in the video. So yes, people have mentioned this before. They've said, hey Bob, you always pick the same comments when you're making the video. You always choose uh, the same people. And it might seem like that sometimes, um, but there are a few people do, that I do pick more often than others, possibly because they comment more often than others. If you were to keep track, there are what I call regulars. People who come to this channel, watch these videos, and leave comments almost every time I make a video. And I really like people who do that because I get to know them a little bit. As they ask questions and as they share a little bit about their own life, uh, I share a little bit about mine and we become more of a community. So thank you to all of you who do that, who comment regularly. I do appreciate it. It makes this a little more fun for me. So I'm here at what's called the community center, but it's also the arena and the library. And there's a basketball court if you want to do that as well. You can come here and hang out. Jen and I were actually here last night. Uh, we came to the library to get a few books, so that was kind of fun. Uh, and if you look over there, um, I think a couple of the police officers in my town are having a little meeting. Uh, they're parked over there, I guess just briefly, to talk about what's happening in the town possibly. Maybe there's something going down that they have to go and investigate. Um, or maybe they're just having a cup of coffee and talking about the morning news. Who knows? Anyways, it's good to have law enforcement. It's good to have law and order in a town. I do appreciate that, except when they give me a speeding ticket. Then I don't appreciate it as much. Anyways, Bob the Canadian here. Another little English lesson. A nice warm January day again, but oh well. Anyways, see you in a few days with another short English lesson. Bye.